Oh, boy. A lot has happened. So, hey, everyone. Happy 097 here. So, this is sort of like an add-on, I guess, to my other video. Or maybe just a rewrite of the other video when I think about it. I have learned a lot recently over the whole Fortnite getting banned on mobile stuff. It's a huge stink, and there's two sides of it that really need to be addressed. If you're wondering why I'm on Minecraft instead of, like, Fortnite or something for this video, Minecraft is completely out of the equation here. It's not connected to it, and so it's just a lot less stress, you know? So, yeah. I'll just, uh, head into one of my worlds, and we'll just talk. So, there's two sides of the issue, and from what I'm finding out, it's completely useless, and likely a Can't even pronounce it correctly, I'll say it later though, just to keep you all in suspense so you keep watching. Sorry, not sorry. So, yeah. Um, let's see, where was I going with this? Ah, yes. So, you have to think from the side of Apple, alright? Why does Apple have that whole, um, rule of 30% in the first place? Well, believe it or not, there's actually a very non-greedy reason. The reason that it's there in the first place is to prevent scamming. Basically, say a company um, puts out their app with tons of in-app purchases. Someone buys it, gets all the in-app purchases, finds out they're worth nothing. It was a scam from the start. You ask for a refund and the company won't give it to you. It sucks to be you, you can't get a refund now, right? Actually, if you're using an Apple product, Apple refunds you using all the 30% that they've collected. So, yeah, quite useful, isn't it? Also, they take that 30% that they've collected, and they fund it into, get this, other, developing pro other developers, small developers, so that they can develop their game, and it'll actually become a pretty good game. It doesn't die in the stages because it runs out of funding. Huh, isn't that what... Epic Games was complaining about, though, about how some people just can't survive that 30% loss. Huh. Weird, because when you put it in the perspective, sounds like I trapped myself in a cave. I have. Well, this sucks. Hmm. Yeah, so, continuing on, yeah, Apple had a pretty good reason for taking that 30%, especially because lots of companies do try and scam you. Now, as for Google, who has the exact same policy and is now being sued for almost the exact same reason, no, they're not taking that 30%, exactly. they're taking that 30% because they just, you know, that, that that's what they want. They, they really just want to, you know, take that 30% and get more money. Google's been greedy. We've all known this, and we've all just dealt with it at this point. Apple, though, comes out of nowhere. So, if Apple's using that to protect people, why is that a problem for Epic Games? Wouldn't they want to support that? Well, that's because I don't believe Epic Games is actually looking at this from the viewpoint that Apple is. Apple's looking at it through the lens of a consumer. I believe Epic Games is looking at it through the lens of a developer. They're looking at it as, 
hey, we made this game. We're not trying to scam people. So why do we have to pay all this money? Why do we have to pay you all this for, you know, when we're not doing it? The reason why they have to pay, even if they aren't scamming, is because, well, there's no evidence they won't start scamming eventually. And it's also so that they have money so that if someone gets scammed, they can help them. Kind of hard to refund something if you don't have money, right? Which is the main reason why all those scammy companies don't refund people. Because they've already spent all the money. So, yeah. Those reasons. But, in the end, the real question there is that... <laughs> oh, I love this command block stuff. Um, the real question, though, is, like, why do... Uh, why is Epic Games having a problem with it still? I mean, they're a multi-billion dollar company. Well, it's simple. They want every dollar. That's why they claimed how, like, oh, if it weren't for Apple's, um, 30% thing, it always would have been $8. That's only 20% off of the actual price. So, yeah. Unfortunately, it does seem that Epic Games really is just greedy and trying to get as much money as they can out of it. Don't get me wrong. I love Fortnite still. I think the company, it it's not perfect, that's for sure, but a lot of times they do have good intent. And, oh, their main argument about how, you know, like I said earlier, Apple has funded since 2018... $55 billion to developers. Small time, big time, doesn't care. So yeah, consider that. Suddenly, Fortnite's argument doesn't make much sense anymore, does it? And that's, that's what I've just been trying to wrap my head around. Thinking that there's got to be another reason. As of now, I haven't found another reason. If you guys have another reason, please put it in the comments down below. I want to know. Please. I I don't know the full story. And with all these controversial subjects like this, not knowing the full story is possibly the worst thing you can do. But I just I, I don't know the full story, and I don't think I will. Not for a while, so... So yeah, I just, I don't know the full story. I don't think anyone really does know the full story. I think it may be impossible for anyone to know the full story. Ooh, found a bastion remain. Noise. But, yeah, I don't think anyone really has the full story yet. And I don't think anyone truly will. It's sad, but really, in the whole pick a side thing, like, oh, do you stand with Apple? Do you stand with Fortnite? I'm gonna have to stand with Apple, changing my opinion because well, I've learned more. And in the end, should have stuck with my gut that Apple wouldn't do a cheating lowdown move, and that they have good reasons. One of the things that Apple's known about is both strict, but also adhering to their own laws and rules. They don't create exceptions. Because what their concern is, is the privacy and safety of all the Apple users. In Google's case, it's two greedy companies going up against each other, though. Really, that, that's really all it is. <laughs> Sorry, Android users, but you should have predicted by now that Google doesn't give... Google doesn't care about you, so long as you're using their product and paying them money, that's all they care about. Fortnite, they listen to their community, but their community is also very toxic. Hence the reason why I'm playing Minecraft. Maybe 
could basically become a jet ski with this. Ah, the lily pads. But yeah, so, there's my opinion and all the facts that I, so far, have gathered. Could more facts come to the- Oh! I almost forgot the most important thing, the most condemning thing, I think, for Fortnite. They've been planning this. The whole lawsuit and everything. Not only did they expect it, but it was purposeful. See, when the price drop went out for V-Bucks, anyone who knew it was coming thought it was because Fall Guys existed. And Fall Guys was becoming very popular. And this was Epic Games pulling out the big guns to bring people back to Fortnite. You know? No, it wasn't. It was directly to antagonize and come up with a good reason to sue Apple. And, I'm assuming, Google. We know this because... Now, personally, I don't have any experience animating. I have a friend who's an animator, and I know for a fact that they take a really long time to animate stuff. And that's not because they're an amateur. They're actually really good. Lucy Jewett, go check her out. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure most of you would know, because literally hardly anyone watches my channel, so... But anyways... Animating takes a really long time. So... When Apple banned Fortnite, how was it that less than 30 minutes they had a full-blown, rendered, animated project out to taunt Apple? It seems nearly impossible unless... unless it was planned beforehand. Unless someone took... Oh, at the very least, a whole team took a week to make that animation beforehand so that they were ready. Unless someone hired a lawyer to have a 30-page lawsuit written before they even had the app banned. Yeah, they did. Less than 30 minutes, all it took for everything to go down. So, take a moment and consider it. That's... Like I said, if any of you have any information out there that you can prove is true, please, let me know down in the comments below. Like I said, I'm a Fortnite fan. Personally, I'm more for the lore than the actual thing, which I know is an unpopular opinion, but hey, I'm a story guy. What am I going to do? So yeah, I'm there for the lore mainly, but mobile is my main gaming device. I can't film Fortnite on my Switch. I can't film any game on my Switch. I have to use an iPad for all my gaming content. So, either they need to come to a compromise, or Epic Games. Get over yourself. You've been doing just fine with that 30% being taken. You'll live to keep doing it. There's nothing even remotely wrong about it. You're just concerned about nothing that big. So anyways, now that I've ranted very long, I don't want to call this Tag Rants Episode 3, because that would be what it was if it really was a rant. So let's just call this... The Truth Over The... The Truth About Apple Versus Epic Games. Let's call it that. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and uh, well, have a nice day.